Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Aquarius, if you are here, which obviously you are, you're meant to be. So let's find out why, shall we? Aquarius, who am I connecting with today? Well, these just wanted to fall out. I don't know if I want to take them though, because I think that was just a really bad shuffle. <laughs> but who am I connecting with today? Who is in your energy? Let's take a look. For Aquarius, we have love. Okay. We have loss. That was actually one of the cards that fell out in the beginning. And we have nightmare. Okay, love, loss, nightmare. Well, that doesn't sound too fun. That's not very groovy at all, is it, Aquarius? Damn. It's like... It, it's like a false start kind of feeling. It's like you you finally got with somebody, or this could be a future influence. This could be a warning for somebody here. You finally get with somebody, and then there's this major disappointment. I'm hearing the love of my life. It's like somebody that you thought was the love of your life, or maybe somebody thought this way about you, and then it just doesn't work out. Hmm. Well, that's strong. That's intense. So what is going on? It's like somebody's somebody feels like they're living a nightmare because you're not in their life anymore or I mean again you can flip the rules maybe you're feeling that way about somebody we have the four of Pentacles somebody's feeling held back it's like somebody it's like somebody lost you and now they don't know what to do with themselves it's now it feels like they've lost their purpose in life almost Again, I keep hearing the love of my life. So somebody, you know, feel, might feel like you're the, the one who got away, right? Uh, we do have the Eight of Cups here at the bottom as well. So somebody here walked away and the other is left feeling like, damn, I just lost the love of my life. How many times am I going to say the love of my life in this reading? Let's count. <laughs> okay, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and we have the Ten of Cups, so a lot of happy cards. And again, it's like, I want to see what's under this Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles, so don't be surprised if this person comes around, you know, with the Six of Wands. They could, like, want to show their presence in your life again. They might want to, you know, try again, and obviously that's up to you. Maybe you want to try again with this person as well. Maybe for some of you, this could be a relief that this person who lost you really wants you back. Um, I don't know, if, for some of you, you may have been married to this person, or, or it could have been just a very long-term relationship. But I'm also getting with that Four of Pentacles. Notice how on the card it's this man... I think he's like in quicksand or something, but he has this money in his hand and he looks very desperate. It's almost as if this person put all their eggs in this basket with you and it just didn't go the way that they thought it would. It's like they, they, their life almost depended on this working out with you, but for some reason it didn't work out. So, and it's so confusing because it's, I'm getting a nice energy, so I don't know like why somebody here left. I keep, did they have like a gambling addiction or something? For some of you, there's some kind of weird addiction thing going on. It may not be gambling, but there's some kind of weird addiction, some kind of like toxic habit like that, that may have pushed you away. And it's not because, you know, they didn't love you or they didn't want to be with you, but there was some kind of bad habit that you didn't want to be dragged into or even just a bad like negative situation you know maybe their family sucks <laughs> i don't know but it's just something like that that you just didn't want to be a part of and it's sad because i do feel like there's love here on both sides hmm. let's let's get some more details let's look at this four of pentacles we have the five of wands yeah this drama chaos we have the Nine of Wands. It's like you constantly... It's like you ha had to constantly watch out for this person. And I, what I mean by that is like... It was almost like you're a babysitter in a way. It's so hard to describe. Uh, it's like if you don't want to take care of you, why 
should I have to take care of you? Is that ringing a bell for anybody? Is anybody resonating with that? And it's like you started to feel like you're more so a parent with this person rather than, you know, a lover, a wife, a husband, a boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, whatever the case might be or might have been. <sighs> yeah, it's like, again, I keep hearing like, if you don't even want to take care of you, why, why, why do I have to take care of you? It's like, why can't we just be in a relationship and, you know, I don't have to feel like I'm a, a parent or a babysitter. So again, this could have something to do with some kind of addiction. I don't know. Or maybe if it wasn't an addiction, maybe this person just kind of had these like weird expectations on you. Like they almost like, you know, I'm kind of getting a vibe of somebody who grew up, they're very spoiled by their parents. So whenever they're in a relationship, they expect their partner to kind of spoil them like that. So there's some kind of weird thing like that, maybe like some kind of codependency. Um, again, I just kind of feel like you were more of like a caretaker, it felt like, or a babysitter. So let's look at the Six of Wands. And it's not because, you know, I feel like there's still love here. There was a lot of love here. It's just they became very selfish in that way. And that I think that's what kind of drove you away. And again, they know what they've lost, okay? So Six of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles. Earth sign energy, by the way, and we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they know what they've lost. I just heard they, we could have had it all. What's, is that by I, um, Adele? Yeah, but I, they feel like they could have had it all with you and then they ruined it. I keep hearing addiction again. I don't know, for somebody here, that's important. Some kind of addiction. And I do sense the energy of them like getting out of that. And the more that they get out of that, the more they realize just how much they fucked up their life, how much they fucked up, like what they could have had with you. Let's look at the Hierophant. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. Uh, there might have been a time in your relationship where they did put on the facade that whatever this problem was, that they were better, but then you later found out that they weren't better, that the problem didn't go away, that they weren't actually working on it. They were just getting better at sneaking around. Um, you know, whatever the case might be, we have that Knight of Cups here. It's like putting on putting on a mask of a Knight of Cups around you, you know, everything's fine, I love you, flirty, lovey-dovey, blah, blah, blah. But really, this issue, whatever it was, was going wild. <laughs> um, and it was happening behind your back, but I do see that at some point you found out, or maybe if you're dealing with this right now, maybe you're about to find out. Maybe you're gonna, f this could be a confirmation for somebody that, yeah, you're right. Um, like maybe you're having these feelings that, something's still going on. Um, I'm not even going to try to get into like pinpointing what this could have been, this addiction or this issue, because it's going to be different for everybody. Um, and I feel like some things I probably just shouldn't say on YouTube, but there is something that, you know, they put on a face that everything was fine, that they were getting over it, they were working on it, but then you found out that it was, you know, possibly even worse than ever, okay? And that I feel like that's kind of a turning point for you, or was. Let's look at this Ten of Cups. We have the Tower. It all came crashing down. And we have the Six of Pentacles. I need another card. We have the Eight of Swords. Uh, for some of you, they may have gone to jail over whatever this was. Um, Again, the sense of like it all coming crashing down. They could be about to do some time for some of you. And for some of you, I know this is very, very specific, but for somebody, they could be about to do some time and they want to like, you know, give you some kind of forgiveness or, or, or give you some kind of forgiveness, ask you for some kind of forgiveness um, before they go and do their time. Okay, that's very specific. Okay, I know. And like probably like nobody <laughs> except for maybe one person is going to resonate with that. Um, because their life has gotten much worse since you've been out of it. I mean, we have the nightmare card. I feel like their issue got worse. Um, 
But again, I feel like for that time it got worse, but I do sense that they're getting better, that they are working on it. Whatever this issue was, is, I mean, it could even just be codependency. Like, you know, a very toxic codependent person who's very clingy, needy. Um, but I feel like they've been working on that, possibly going to therapy, you know, something along those lines. And it seems like the more they get out of that, the more they realize that they fuck things up. And I just get this very desperate energy. It's like, damn, I could have had it all with Aquarius. There could be some last ditch effort here with the Six of Pentacles to want to reach out to start over with you. But with that Eight of Swords, it's almost as if like, you know, can I even make this up to Aquarius? Will they even want to listen to what I have to say? So for anybody who's kind of, you know, who's resonating with this, know that these kind of thoughts are going through their mind. They know how much they fucked up. They know what they could have had with you. And I think I just heard like, this is probably the biggest mistake of their life. Because they really did. They saw it all with you. They just didn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. And they realize that, you know, is it too late? Yeah, probably. Um, but again, that's up to you. If you want to give this person another chance, if they come back around, which I feel like they are, they want some, they want to give you some kind of apology. Um, you know, is it enough? Like I said, I don't know. That's up to you. Um, is there anything else Aquarius needs to know about this? Kind of a heavy situation today, Aquarius. Whoever I'm connecting with today. We have the Page of Cups. We have Death, Scorpio energy. We have the King of Wands, Fire Sign energy. Just want to get one more. We have the Ten of Wands. Okay. They know that they can't make it up to you, but they're, they are going to try. They're going to pop up. Like I said, they're going to offer you some kind of apology. This keeps coming to mind too, but I feel like it might feel half-assed their apology. And I feel like for some of you that might kind of piss you off. So that's like a little warning for somebody, you know, if you feel it's best just to keep that communication out of your life, you know, do that because for some of you, I feel like this them apologizing might just make the situation wor worse. Um, but again, you know, if you feel like you just should not allow any communication from this person, that's probably a good idea. But for others of you, you know, maybe hear them out. Am I saying to take them back? No. But it could bring you some kind of closure as well, okay? So, anything else? We have the Magician. We have the lovers, Gemini energy, and we have the world. <laughs> We're ending with three major arcanas. So there is some kind of closure that's, you know, that might need to happen here. I think there's something to do with some kind of karma here that might need to be closed out for some of you. So that's why I say for some of you, you might need to hear them out to get some kind of closure. And then finally go your separate ways. With this lover's card, I'm not getting like a reunion. I'm getting more so like separate ways, <laughs> a parting. And it's kind of like that one final like, okay, I forgive you, whatever. You get some kind of closure and it's gone. Um, but then for others of you with this magician, again, it could be some kind of half-assed thing. And you might have closure just, you know, blocking them out for good because... You might, for some of you, you might realize that this person's just never going to change. Uh, their apology is phony. Um, again, it's like 50-50 here. Some of them are going to be, you know, the magician type putting on a show. But then the others, uh, for others of you, is going to be a legit apology. And it offers you some kind of um, healing, some kind of closure and closing out of like a karmic cycle. Okay, sorry, hit the mic. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And I think this is important for somebody, you know, whoever this resonates for. Um, just know that a major chapter, major cycle of your life is about to end. Um, and that's not a sad thing. I think it's a good thing. And I think you realize that too. 
Um, I do feel like there is a potential for some kind of friendship with this person for the those of you where it's more of a healthy, you know, communication. Um, but yeah, definitely closing out of a cycle. There's a new cycle starting for you, and you're you're not going to be locked in karmically to this person anymore, and that's very freeing. Okay, and I feel like a lot of people might need to hear that. Okay, so. That is your reading today, Aquarius. Sorry, it was a little bit of a heavy one, but you know, I don't choose, you know, the energy that shows up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if that resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some banana emojis in the comments, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.